Alrighty, what is up guys? Connor's Cards here, back with another video. Uh, sorry I haven't posted very much. Um, I was on a little bit of a vacation. Uh, don't worry, I wasn't really traveling anywhere else. Just at my cottage, and it's very remote, so it's all good. Um, nobody around, so we're good. Um, sorry I haven't posted, but um, you guys may have noticed I deleted my How to Protect Your Cards video. Because if you may have, if you watched it, um, you may have noticed that I said I'll put a picture here and nothing showed up for some reason, right? So, um, I accidentally uploaded the wrong video, the unedited one. So I did actually edit it, it's just I accidentally uploaded the wrong one. And then I tried to upload the regular one, but it wasn't working. It Well, it would upload, but it kept saying private, and then I'd go into it to edit it like on the youtube thing and go edit it and try to um make it to public and it went and then it would say public and then you x'd out of it and then it, it like you press save and then you x out of it and then it re-uploaded it and then it didn't work so it just kept saying it was private so um it's on my youtube channel but you guys just can't see it um the only person that can see it is me so it doesn't i don't really know why i did that but hopefully this video doesn't turn out like that um, but today we're doing, uh, my top 10 hockey cards. And you may have noticed that I'm doing hockey cards lately. Um, uh, sorry about that. It's just, well, here in Canada, there's more hockey cards than basketball and football and all the other ones. But don't worry, I'm getting a new, uh, I'm getting a bunch of cards when this is all done. Because, uh, I've already got it planned out. And I'm already buying it from my friend. So, um, we're all good. So, my number one favorite hockey card is this On Card Auto Ryan Merkley uh, rookie card. But the only thing is, is it is in terrible condition. Terrible condition. Because um, I didn't have any top loaders back then when I first got it. No sleeves. It wasn't if the card was in condition when I was a kid. It was more if you just had it. But here it is. It's pretty nice. Uh, I actually didn't get it autographed by myself. Um, by me. Um, my friend had it. And uh, he got it autographed. By uh, the, the person. By Ryan Merkley. So pretty cool. On card auto. Pretty nice. So I'll put that one to the side. And you may have noticed. I'm using a uh, cardboard, piece of cardboard. To cover the cards. Really loud car just went by my house. Um, next, we have this Paul Sastini one of one printing plate. Pretty cool. I don't really get what these are. Like, I don't know what a printing plate is. I don't know if it's like the model that the that they the machine designs the card off of. But I have no clue. But it's pretty cool. Only one of them in the world. And it's the only one you're gonna see. So pretty nice. Next, we've got, okay, so, I'm just gonna put this card back under, so, um, hello, sorry, I know I'm talking a lot, you guys probably just wanna see the, see the video, but, um, when I did that Toronto Maple Leafs hockey card collection, right, and I was going through the binder and stuff, and you may have noticed, two cards were numbered, but I never, never even realized they were numbered, and I was going through them um, two days ago, I think. And I just saw them, and I was like, what the heck? How did I not see these? So I was really, really excited when I got when I found these. So, uh, they're not really in any order, but here they are. You may recognize them. But number 99. 99. So, pretty cool. I was really, really pumped when I saw when I, uh and I got these. So, pretty nice. I'm happy. Alrighty, next is this John LeClair jersey card. Pretty nice. Game used. Um, game used. Hockey memorabilia. The memorabilia has been certified to us as having been used in an official NHL game, so that's pretty nice. Not a warm-up jersey or nothing like that. So, pretty cool. Um, 
one, pretty nice. Next we have a Michael Neal on card auto. Pretty nice. Uh, I don't even know who the heck Michael Neal is, but pretty cool. I mean, it's, a, it's an autograph, I guess. So, um, pretty cool. Next we have uh, we have these die cuts. They're pretty cool. I mean, they're not numbered or anything, but I just think they're cool. They're not really worth they're not worth anything. I just think they're cool. I like them. I like the shape of them. They kind of like go around the maple leaf there. So, pretty cool. Next is Blake Clark Uncurred Auto. Again, terrible condition. Brampton Battalion. So, that's a OHL team. If you didn't know. Sorry, I'm kind of holding it out of frame. So, kind of nice. Next is Scott Oak on, I don't even know what team this is, but these cards are pretty old, like, like, they look kind of new, you know, but they're actually, like, 10 years old, so, pretty cool, on-card auto, it's always nice when you got the on-card autos, you know, Michael Curtis on-card auto, Again, don't know who on who this is. Oh, it says OHL there. So this must be an OHL team. But I've never seen seen it. The Belleville Bulls. Francis Bouchard, sticker auto. Kind of wish this was on card, but just sticker. All right, next we got Awesome Matthews rookie card. 16, 17 upper deck series, series one. Pretty nice. And then next, awesome Matthews rookie card again. Uh oh, it's 16, 17, also. But see, it's purple. I think that means something like like a color, you know, like you know how in how in basketball you got like the ruby waves, the greens, the silvers. I think this is like something like that. So pretty nice. And then next, just Tim Horton card of Tim Horton. Tim Horton, sorry. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, my grandpa got me, got me this. Pretty nice. Really shiny. It's way shinier on camera. It looks way nicer. It's pretty nice on camera. Jeez, it's beautiful, but it is just a Tim Horton card. Tim Horton cards aren't really worth anything, um, but they're cool to get, I guess. They're kind of limited because you can't really get them in the States. Um, I mean, you can, you can if you're more northern, but you can't get them in, like, California or Texas or nothing like that, so pretty nice. I just think it's cool because it's Tim Horton, and it's a Tim Horton's card, so pretty nice. And if you're from the States, um, how you get these Tim Hortons cards, um, when you go to Tim Hortons and you get, like, a coffee or, uh, you get, like, a wrap or a donut or something like that, you, uh, you can buy these packs. They come with three cards, and, um, they're a dollar, so pretty nice. And for people in the States, that's, like, 75 cents. So, they're pretty cheap, but they're really really nice cards i spent a lot of time on that card wow all right so don't worry i'm getting a lot more cards like a lot more like i'm gonna say 560 i think around 560 so pretty nice but here's just a run through Oh crap. Sorry, John. Alright, well that's gonna end that this uh video. Um don't worry, I'll be posting more often. Um and I'll try to upload the how to protect your cards or I'll just refilm it because um 
newcomer to the channel might want to see it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to smash that subscribe button and like this video. Free, feel free to comment. Hopefully, comments will work on this video. I'll try to get that updated. I don't know why this is happening. So stupid. YouTube's being really stupid. Um, they did this weird update, and it's just stupid. Um, but, uh, well, I guess that's the end of the video. See you guys later.